Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. So I realize I probably shouldn't be wearing a black shirt because I just look like a floating head now. But anyway, just came across this video and it looks like a doozy. It's actually uh, from this channel, it's called Truly, with 10 million subscribers. It's titled, I had no credit, now I have a luxury car collection, wait for it, bling life. So with that said, it's probably going to be a video of a whole bunch of financial mistakes and blunders and it'll finally be an opportunity for me just to rip into them and, and just teach them a lesson that they shouldn't be doing that. If you appreciate that, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and now with that said, let's begin. When I first met my car dealer, I had no credit and now I'm building a luxury car collection. It sounds like she's talking about like a lover, like, oh man, when I first met my car dealer, oh man, I remember the day we locked eyes and I told him I wanted that S550 Mercedes and, and he said, you need at least 20% down. So I went back to work, I came back a year later and I bought that Mercedes and I shook his hand and, and ever since that moment, I've been just buying a ton of cars. On spending on my new car, if it's my dream, I'll make it happen. What is she wearing? It's all Louis Vuitton. She got a Louis Vuitton dealer too? How many dealers does she have? I feel like she's just got a whole bunch of people around her just selling her stuff. And, she, and she's buying it though. She's good for the economy. She's getting the money back out uh, into the economy and, and she's probably single-handedly driving inflation at this point. I've asked my car dealer to surprise me with a new car. Oh my God! Miguel, I feel like I'm driving a safari car. Yeah, Miguel, just bring her all the cars. Just, just, he just bring her the stuff that he can't sell at the dealership. He's like, hey, uh, I, got, I got this car. It's gonna be great. You're, you're really gonna love it. It's uh, been sitting here for a while. We've got to get it off the lot. But uh, hey, you wanna buy it? Today I'm meeting up with my car guy, Miguel. He's going to be surprising me with a car that I- Why do they all look like they're, oh uh, yeah, I was about to say, it. yeah, it looks like they're from Florida. Uh, nothing that gets people in Florida. But uh, you can just kind of tell with the, uh, you know, the house in the back, that color, the columns, blue weather, the sky all the time. And yeah, the convertible Mercedes is Florida. In the meantime, I thought I'd give you guys a tour of my two cars that I currently have. How's that a collection? I feel like for a collection, you need like four cars, right? Like five? Two is just like, she's got a daily, a practical car and a fun car. That, it's not a collection yet. So it's $250,000. It's my dream car. I love everything about it. Yeah, I mean, that, listen, that's a great car. Miguel has good taste for getting her in that car, but yeah, it's expensive. Those Mercedes AMG, especially the S65s, the, uh, the G63s, like all of those, try to get a black series. You can't even get them, and if you can, it's like $100,000 over MSRP. It is insane right now. The values have to come down. It massages me while I drive. It blows air everywhere. Even up my butt. Why does it need to be a feature? Who came up with that? Who, what, what rich person out there is like, yo, I need air on my butt while I drive down while everyone's staring at me in the car. The engine's roaring. I just, I, I need air right there. Who, why? I actually got this for my dogs and to also haul my dirt bike, but it's been a lifelong dream of mine to have this exact truck. Oh, great. I'm glad her dogs could be driving around in a, a fantastic car. Again, Miguel, uh, great great job hooking her up with the, with the Ford. Fantastic. You know, you could be trying a Rivian, Tesla Model X, but you know, I, I get it. I get it. Ford's nice. I, I, I wish their stock would be doing a little better right now. It's doing okay. I'm just kind of bitter. I was hoping Ford stock would be like 20 bucks by now, but no. Oh, well. Let me show you how it sounds. <laughs> She's straight piping all of her cars. She's just taking the exhaust off. Like all the work we've been trying to do for, you know, green energy, protecting the environment. No, she's just like cut off the catalytic converter, let's just straight pipe this. <laughs> sounds great though, I'll admit, it sounds good. This is one of the fastest trucks on the road. I spent $100,000 on this. That is $100,000? What, why? Why is that 100 grand? I would much rather get a used Aston Martin, get a used G-Wagon, like the cheapest G-Wagon you could find, buy that, a hundred, since when does Ford sell a hundred thousand dollar tr trucks? Wow, inflation guys. This used to be a fifty thousand dollar truck, now it's a hundred thousand. The reason I'd like to buy a new car is because I enjoy collecting them. I'm really excited because Miguel's gonna be here any minute with my big surprise. What? No way! How is that a surprise? 
She, does she not know what she's getting? Does Miguel, again, just show up to her house? It's like, hey, driving you this over. Uh, don't worry, we have your account info. We're just gonna, we're just gonna charge it to the account. You know, it's like opening up a tab at the bar, except at the car dealership. She just runs a tab up, pays it off. Again, it's a, it's a good looking car. Like, I don't, I don't dislike the Defender. It's okay, it's a good car. 2021 looks curious. Land Rover Defender. No! I've never even seen one of these before. Yeah, this is actually, um, they've been out in the market for about 70 years. Oh man, that's a mic drop moment. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, no, been on the market for seven years. They're everywhere. Actually, they're like the third most popular selling car, but uh, hey, you, you own one now. Nobody wanted to finance an 18 year old, a Mustang GT. So he went to auction and got me my very first car. I had a very high interest, but it was worth every penny, and he's been my car guy since. Good for him. You know what? You got to do that sort of stuff if you want to build your business. As a real estate agent, I would always take on like the hardest deals, and eventually some of those people became some of my best clients, and they were the deals that no one else wanted to take. So Miguel went on a limb to do this. He, d he did quite right. He got her the Mustang. High interest. I bet she paid it down. Now she's got good credit, though. So now Miguel could reap all the benefits of that one Mustang. The You're windows just... are so big. Oh, is that a sky roof? Yeah, I mean, a sunroof? Sun I, like I like the term skyroof instead. A sunroof sounds like eh, a skyroof on it. Why don't they call it a skyroof? Because technically, they should be all weather. You could drive, see the sky at night. Because you could see the sky at any time, not necessarily when the sun's out. So I like the skyroof. Every time I test drive a car, I have to make sure it has some horsepower. Let's see. Give, give it a shot. All right. Ah! Whoa! Just imagine. Just like she just gets a ticket and then she's got to get her ticket dealer who just like gets her off of the speeding tickets What did I use a while ago? It was uh, Anna with traffic ticket defenders in uh, Los Angeles. They were fantastic uh, I'd highly recommend if you guys get a speeding ticket go to Anna uh, you know, she'll charge you some money to, to do what she can with the ticket, but uh, Yeah, you, you could usually just fight those. What numbers are we looking at for this? Take a guess under 100? She's gonna be right under 100,000. <laughs> right under 100. She's like, oh man, that's a bargain, Miguel. The, my, my Ford was 100 grand, so this is cheaper. I'm saving money. She's saving money already. If it holds sure. its value, I would consider it. It does. There is not too many SUVs built uh, like this one. Okay. That seems like a sales pitch though. Is it gonna hold its value? I don't know. There are very few cars out there that I honestly think are gonna hold their value. I think the Honda S2000, great car. Lotus Elise? Fantastic car. The uh, 96, 97 Dodge Viper, love those. The last generation Acura NSX, I think that's a fantastic one. Any gated Murcielago, 360 Ferrari, 430 Ferrari. There's a lot of those cars out there that you could buy, pretty much drive for free and then sell them. And that's just off the top of my mind. Ford GT is another one, SLS AMG Mercedes. You could buy these cars, drive them for free, sell them pretty much for the same price you paid for them. So pretty much you're able to get a free car as long as you're able to just pay for it up front. If you had to guess a total between all of the cars that I've gotten, how much do you think I've totally spent? Oh, you you definitely passed half a million already. Yeah. Probably a couple years ago, you passed half a million. You're close, close to a million dollars. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm curious, is she reselling these cars right afterwards, breaking even, and rolling that into the next one? I bet she is, because the fact that she only has two, well, now three cars, and she spent so much money with them, she's probably turning them back in. Man, I mean, with the car market the way it is right now, she could actually be turning a profit on some of these cars. The car that I saw today was just not not my cup of tea. It was more of a family car. What? So she, wait, she didn't like it? I thought she was about to buy it. She seems so just like to Miguel's face. She's like, yeah, Miguel, this is a fantastic car. This is awesome. And then as soon as she turns away to the camera, no, the car sucked. Hate it. Family car. What did Miguel do? Why is Miguel showing me this? this? She really needs a G-Wagon, I'm telling you. All she needs, a G63, a used one, find the one with higher miles, drive it for free, fantastic. That's what she needs. I'm gonna call Miguel back and ask for something a little more luxurious slash sporty. A big upgrade from what I already have. Does she not just go to the car dealership? Does she, does she not have a text message where Miguel could just like, yo, here's the car I'm thinking of, do you like this? Go on Google and just like, list off some cars you want. I'll tell you if we have them. Why does he need to show up to the house and just like drive the cars over? I decided to fly my mom to Florida for a week. She spoiled me rotten. 
best daughter. Your accent. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Actually, I remember this. She had an OnlyFans, and she bought her mom a house, or she rented her mom a house. She got her parents a house, and uh, they were really surprised over it. She's making a ton of money, though. So for this, it's like a drop in the bucket. This would be like the average person be like, yo, yeah, I spend $5 every now and then. Yeah, you know, I kind of make some money back, you know, it's give or take. That is the equivalent for her. She's doing quite well. She has no idea that I am surprising her with something she's always wanted. I got a gift for you. I can't wait to show you. Okay. Oh, every time they film a Truly episode, she's going to surprise your mom with something. <gasps> you got me naked! Oh my god, it's so Kate nice! Spade. Why was I thinking it was a car? I just thought for sure she'd be getting the Defender for the mom or something like that. <gasps> Fool me rotten. Oh, there's gonna be a key in there. Guarantee it. I'm about to say, like, she's not just buying her mom a Kate Spade purse. There's no way. I love it. Thank you. Give me a hug. <laughs> you shouldn't do that, though. I love you anyway. You're welcome, Mom. You deserve it. I'd give you the whole world. How is the search for your dream home coming? <laughs> that seems so forced. How is the search for your dream home coming? How did the car thing go today? How is the search for your dream home coming? You could tell when people are just, you know, a little bit uptight about being on camera. Everyone is for the first like few years and then you get used to it after a while. Like you could tell she's a lot better in front of the camera. Sometimes people get a little stiff, a little robotic. They just gotta loosen up a little bit. I plan on moving to my dream house with hopefully six car plus garage. I have big plans in the future. Man, I want to see more of Lindsay's life. They should turn this into like a weekly vlog. You know what? Ben Malley used to have a, uh, a series with the channel Concrete where they'd post like one episode every single week about just like Ben's life. If she did this, first of all, she should really be doing this. Just like once a week, a good episode. Similar to this, maybe just some like, you know, spending and stuff like that. If she did this, she would actually be doing quite well. I would be doing that. But overall, great episode for her. This is a drop in the bucket. She's incredibly successful. Um, who am I to talk about her cars? She's probably making money on all of them. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time.